Right. Let's get down and shed. Not been down here for a while. Got some stuff to do. A bit of a mail call. Cup of coffee on the go. Where's my old key? Yes. Quick little job today. Shouldn't take long. Oh. Bit of a tidy up first. Can't even get in. Don't! Hello and welcome to another episode of Mixed Males and Merman. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell and set notifications to all. It's completely free to do so. And once you set your notifications to all, you'll be told that I've uploaded a video and you'll get a notification on your phone, tablet or on your PC to say I've done so. Make sure you do that. In today's video, we're going to be working on an Atco bow mold 20 inch with a Tecumseh um, engine with the Delorto style carburetor on top. This um, machine I've got running with not many problems at all. However, it does have one fault and that is that the carburetor does leak. Uh, all the fuel out of the tank overnight and it does drip fuel onto your lawn. So uh, it shouldn't do that. Um, it is quite a common fault. And I managed to find some um, off of a website called um, Jap um, Garden Machinery. Um, that's J-A-P-G. Um, part number is Bravo 11288. There you go. For the bowl seat uh, twiddler. Very, very common fault. You, pu you push the, push the, 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 tw the twiddler um, needle up it floods a carburetor and then uh, you release it, it seals. You can then start the, um, the engine up knowing that the carburetor is actually full. And what happens is, is these seats do go on these and then it, they, just, they just drip fuel out. It can be sold by just putting a fuel tap onto the um, inline fuel line, put a fuel, a fuel tap onto it to turn it off. It, you can do that as well, but I'd much rather do it properly and try and stop this carburetor from leaking. That way the machine can then go on to be sold. So that'd be cool. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's try and stop this Delorto carburetor from leaking, which will also affect any other carburetor that has a twiddler seat on it, like your Suffolk punches and things like that. Okay, one uh, 20 inch Atco bow mold, Tecumseh engine on top, Delorto carb on top of that. I'm waiting for a new air filter for this machine as well. That's got to come yet. The old air filter's no good. There's no fuel inside the tank as of yet. Um, I did fill it up, but it leaked fuel out the back. Very, very common fault on these. So what I'm gonna do, you don't have to take the entire carburetor off of this to do this fix. You can just get away with using a half inch or 13 mil, whichever Stella wants to use, Law Mer Lady. <laughs> And you can literally just undo the um, the half inch bolt at the bottom. You may get a little bit of fuel leakage, just where there's a little bit of residual fuel in here. But uh, as I say, because the um, the seat is actually gone, there's actually no fuel in here at all. So one half inch bolt to remove, and then just remove very gently the um, the the uh, bowl. And there is your twiddler that I'm on about. And all we're going to do is replace that because the seats tend to leak a little bit on these. So over to the bench very quickly and then we get this done. Okay, cool. Uh, before we go any further though, I have just got a, uh, a letter come through the post from my man over at DNR Small Engine Repair. That's his new sticker. Go and check out DNR Small Engine Repair. Uh, my mate Dave, he's, uh, he's very cool. Quick slurp of the old coffee. Yummy. So here is our offending article. And as you can see, inside the bowl area itself, there's a little tiny, tiny, tiny little plunger. And all it does is it lifts up to allow you to flood the, flood the bowl. And then when you let go of it, it should seal and it's not actually sealing. Now there is quite a, a simple fix on these. And all you've got to do is put your thumb inside here and hold that down. And then literally just with a pair of pliers or all of your fingers and thumbs, just remove this. Uh, it's, it's, like a, it's like a spring circlip, if you like. It's, no, it's nothing more than that. Um, but they are, they are quite well seated in there. So let me just grab a pair of long nose pliers or a pair of short long nose pliers. Uh, what's going to be best? Probably something with a bit of T-fidge on it, I dare say. <coughs> These ones. And all I want to do, literally, is just put my thumb inside just to hold it down. And then literally just push this down and just try and bend this back out of the way. Just try and get hold of it like so, and just pull that back. That's all we're trying to do. It's a bit tricky because you've got the spring right in the way of it. But you see what I'm trying to achieve. You can't do it that way. It has to be held up so that this spring 
pushes all the way down, but it is actually caught on that spring, so that's where you have to go a bit careful. So just a bit of manipulation, and it will come out, he says, eventually. Just a bit tricky. There it goes. There goes the spring. Springs are shot off, but I don't need a spring. That thing just comes out, like so. And there it is inside. Now what you can do, get a little bit of wire wool in there just to smooth those edges up, okay? And with your your new part, which is, as I say, off a Jap motor, a Jap uh, machines, guard machines, Bravo 11288. They're about four pound each. Okay, they're not a lot of money. Let me just move my microphone very slightly. But, uh, <clears throat> let's open that up. and tip the bits out. Now, in, in the component parts, you're gonna get um, your little tiny metal metal clip. Comes in two bags. Little tiny metal clip, your spring, your seat, and the plunger tool. So that's the four parts you're gonna get, okay, just like so. And now your seat um, is, is a bit like a tap washer, um, but uh, in all fairness, there's no right or wrong way to go. What you've got to do is just push your um, your plunger through. It's a bit fiddly. You might have a bit of spray silicone, maybe just to just to help it on its way. But they do go. Once that's gone all the way down to where it needs to be, which is there, you can then let me get a little bit of wire wool, which I do have some just at hand. Just a very very small amount, not a lot at all. All I want to do is just want to clean that area up, just to smooth it off. Easy. Right, so then your plunger um, simply just goes into the hole and pops out the other side of the carburetor, just like so. There it is there, you see that? Okay. So there's your old one. As you can see, it's, it's well worn, and that, that, that's probably gone very, very soft over the years. Once that's in its place like so, you can then literally just get your spring. That sits on top. And all you want to do then is get your little tiny cap, which has got like a, a keeper on the inside of it. Okay, that goes on top of the spring. Okay. Once it sits on top of a spring, just push it all the way down and literally push it to one side and it will just slip in. Now, it's obviously going to take me a little while to do it, but you get you get the gist. You might have to push the spring down fully first and then manipulate this to go in down the side of it. Let's just see what it looks like without the spring in place. So it will actually or not. So it will actually go in without the spring in place. So you may have to compress the spring whilst holding it all down. It's a bit of a, it is a bit of a faff. I've got no nails to do it. There you go, hold the spring all the way down and get your little keeper and slide that in. There it goes, like so, and that's it. So that's now in place. Get a bit of a, a twiddle just to get it to seat right. And there you go, seated. Quick and easy little fix. It could be two things that have actually worn them. It's maybe this little tiny washer has worn and it's no longer no longer seating or the spring has lost it lost its springage. But there you go, that, that, that's how that sits like that. So um, let's go back over to the machine. We refit this bowl back on and then um, make sure that that's sitting in the right place and then we fill it up with petrol to make sure that um, it's doing its job. So yeah, that's um, a quick and easy little fix, hopefully, if it works. Okie badoki. So we're now back on the on the lawnmower, and all we've got to do is when you put this bowl back on, is make sure that the O-ring is sat up inside the carburetor housing, which it is. And then what I want to do is make sure that this little what I call a twiddler is round the right way because of the the actual float uh, sits lower in one part of the carburetor, which is in this section just here, okay, not here. So where the float is dipping down, that's where the front of the carburetor needs to be. And that's its lowest point which is gonna be about there. Okay, that's what it needs to be. And then get your little tiny half inch nut whilst holding the bowl on in place. Get a little tiny half inch nut. And then just slowly do that up by hand just to pinch it tight. That's in place. Then get your half inch or 13 mil, whichever you prefer. And do it up relatively tight. Don't go mad because you'll snap it. It's only brass, okay? That's now in place. Quick slurp of your coffee. 
Lovely. Um, so now with that in place, now what we can do is now try and put some fuel in and does it actually stop the leak or not? It may actually need to have be bedded down just for the day so, so, it's, so it forms to the bowl itself. It may not, it may work straight away. Let's put some fuel in, see what happens. Live test, let's put a bit of fuel there. I'm not too mad because um, if it does leak, then um, I'm just losing fuel. Let's put the fuel cap on. Now straight away, when, um, when I was having this issue before, I was losing fuel straight away out the bottom of this bowl. You can actually see it dripping down out of this bowl. Let me take it off your perch. <coughs> around you come. And as you can see uh, here, let me bring it around a bit better, a bit of a better view, Mick. Let me bring it around to about here. Yeah, you can see there, uh, this is where the fuel was dripping down beforehand. And as you can see, absolutely bone dry, okay? So now if I ask for fuel by touching the, um, the twiddler, which is at the bottom, let me try and get a decent picture of it, there you go. There's my twiddler just here and, yep, yeah, bone dry. So give it a, a leak, yep, yeah, there goes the fuel. Let that dry off now and evaporate. You'll get some residual, this where it's vaporizing, but I can see straight away that actually we're not leaking. It's not leaking any fuel at all out of that um, carburetor. And that is how you stop your Delorto or similar carburetor with a Twiddler from leaking fuel. A very, very simple four pound fix. Let's take the machine outside, fire it up now, make sure it still runs, and then this little puppy can go up for sale. Okay, one 20 inch Atco Balmoral, which is one of the first ones off of a job lot I've done. Comes with a grass box, nice big old machine. Let's fire it up, not been fired up, stone cold. Okay, uh, on to choke. I've already primed the carburetor when I was in, inside the shed. Bit of throttle. And give it a tug, see what happens. There you go. Cylinder works. And the drive. Yeah. Idles. Yep. There you go. That's the first cylinder mower of the job lot we've done. And the Delorto are known for not the smoothest of running. The very small, very, very small miss there, or a hunt, very small. See the governor arm just fluctuating ever so slightly. But these Delorto cars, they are known for that. But under, but under power, Get rid of it straight away. There you go. And that's how you fix your cylinder mower with the Delorto carburetor or very, very similar carburetor with the Twiddler. How you can fix that for four quid. Okay, so there you have it. Another very, very simple, quick little fix. Um, for four quid, you know, you can't go wrong. All I would say is that sometimes I have, I have done this fix before and um, you sometimes have to just allow those rubber seats just, just to bed in a little tiny bit. So if you do, do experience a little tiny drip um, initially, just give it a bit of time just to bed in and maybe give it a bit of a rub as well, a bit of a twist, just, just so it beds right in, a bit like a tap washer does. And then after about two or three days, it should then seal. Mine's not leaking at all, absolutely fantastic. A fix for four pound to stop your um, Delorto or very similar carburetors that have the Twiddler or the, the flooding device um, on the bottom of the bowl, that's how you fix it. Very, very simple, quick and easy. Shouldn't take you no more than five minutes. If it's your first time in watching Mixed Mouse and Mower Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, and set notifications to all. That way you'll be told when next, next time I upload another video. I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mouse very, very soon. But until then, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy. Mm -hmm.